Christmas! Happy Flossmas Day 25! Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Carrie and this is Tiger Lily Designs. Today we're going to go through the grand prize giveaway box. Hopefully you've been following along during my Flossmas extravaganza here in December, days 1 through 24. About day 10 or so, we started adding goodies to a grand prize box. And so we've got about, I don't know, 15. I don't even know how many goodies are in this box. But we're gonna sh I'm going to show you all some of the grand prize goodies in the box just as a refresher. Now, if you've been following along and you just watched the video from the 24th, either yesterday or just right before this one because you're a binge floss tube watcher, then you don't need to watch it if you don't want to. Remember, what this is, is this is the grand prize Flossmas giveaway episode. Do you have your crossword puzzle filled out? If not, let me give you a little 30 second tutorial what this is. This is the Flossmas episode grand prize crossword puzzle. Every day during Flossmas, I have given you a keyword and you just, fill. so there's 24 keywords, you fill in your Flossmas crossword puzzle. Then you're good to go. Now, how do you enter to win this box of goodies? The only thing you need to do, it's real simple, two steps. One, have a crossword puzzle ready to go, filled in when you're the winner. And two, comment on this video. That is how you enter. You comment on this video, say whatever you want. The random YouTube comment picker, will, I will pick a winner from the comments on this video. So please only comment if you have a crossword puzzle ready to go, ready to win the box on January 1st. So you have between now and midnight on December 31st, to comment on this video. The morning of January 1st, I will do all the picking, meaning I will random YouTube comment generator picker for days one through 24. So we will have 24 winners of the different PDFs that were generously donated by our Etsy featured designers through the month. And then at the end, we'll have our grand prize winner and that will be a YouTube comment generator picker winner as well. And all you have to do is comment. And then once your name is drawn for the winner, you email me a picture of your crossword puzzle filled out completely. And then this grand prize box will be on its way to you. So without further ado, before I show you, just in case you want a little refresher, get excited over the Floss Miss Grand Prize box. Before we get into that, let me just share my last kitten advent stitcher box of goodies because there was a present on the 25th, so why not share it? Oh my goodness. Emily, it's a hands across the sea pattern. I'd never have, this is my first one of these. I've been seeing these spiral bound ones. I thought they are just fantastic. I'm so, this is called Emily Wild Hack 1874 from Hands Across the Sea. It's a sweet, sweet little sampler. Oh goodness, 28 count. Let's see if I can put it far enough away to tell y'all what it is. 11.8 by 18 is what it's gonna measure when it's done. Uh, three, six, nine, 12, 13 charted in Auversois and DMCs. What a gorgeous little pattern. So that was the end of the advent calendar. So now I got our box of goodies. Hopefully we'll just run through real quick. Like I said, if you've been following along all month long, you've seen these daily as they've been added to the box, but just as a little quick refresher of what is to win for the grand prize giveaway. All right. So we have a boo. I know it's a Halloween. I know it's a Halloween people, but if you remember, I was going to paint and finish, or you can do it at Halloween, but you stick your stitching right in the middle. It's a five inch square. It's a perfect little finishing uh, product to put your finishing on. Uh, we've got a Miss Sadis silk. Gorgeous. Color is darling. We have a Moe's Yummy Silk. 
yummy aqua color. It's called, it's number 163 is the color name. We've got some Lori Holt note cards from Fat Quarter Shop that was part of a bundle I bought. Um, there's a set of 12 greeting cards from Lori Holt. How great would that be for your correspondence in 2022? We've got this sweet little hang tag. Also could be a finishing mounted doodah. Or you could just throw it on a bottle of wine and gift it in your next hostess gift. We've got a set of my four made handmade fabric scrap coasters just to add some color to your stitching spot. Four, four coasters assortment of colors. We've got a couple of my finishing doodads. So, you know, I like to add, you can see right there, a little joy right there on the side of Santa. That was a little ornament. I like to add little doodads um, to the sides of my finishing. So I threw in two Christmas themed finishing doodads for you. This was a Tiger Lily needle minder. Used to be a t Disney trading pen in its first life but it's a gingerbread needle minder. So you can see it's got the magnet. The magnet, obviously I just stuck it on one of my carts. Um, this was a fun one. This was a pouch to hold some stitchy goodness, scissors and pencils or colored pencils, just whatever you want, but it's a sweet little pouch upcycled from men's neckties. That was a fun little doodad. We've got two Tiger Lily dyed fabric selections don't remember the sizes on them but they're good size you could probably get an eight by eight stitching on it or do a couple ornaments one's an aqua one's a um, dusty pink both of them when i dyed these i did them both in a rip dye as well as a coffee dip so it's got a little rusticness to the colors so you've got two custom they were 14, 14 count Ada before I dyed them. They probably finished about 16 once they get the little shrinkage. This was a sweet little ornament topper, if you remember, from uh, San that guy right there. The little Santa ornament that I finished from Emily Call, Salt and Pepper Stitching. This was the top, the adornment to the top of my ornament, so I went ahead and made two. It's an upcycle, like, so this was a sweater button in its first life, and then I made a bow and some ribbons, and it's all ready for you to hot glue right to the top of your finish. It doesn't have to be this. It can be anything you want. Maybe Valentine's. Um, so a little doodad adornment. Ah, oh, if you were, this was recent. This was a sweet little um, ornament gnome chopper. You can make them an ornament or he pops right on the top of a wine bottle and can sit around and add some color to your wine room. All right, we just got a couple things left. Oh, this is a sweet one. So it's not a paper, but you'll get the PDF pattern donated by Tracy Campbell. It's the blessed snow globe. So that's a pattern in the giveaway box. We've got a project bag from Fat Quarter Shop, Serendipity. It's a great size product ba project bag, ready for you to put a project in it. This was a sweet one. This was early on. This is one of my reusable Santa sacks. If you remember, I um, you can go ahead and stitch their name right here, or you can write on it in a Sharpie, whatever you, but this is just a reusable, huge Santa sack. It'll be great. Um, for gifting next year or decor in your home. All right, and then we've got our th last three pieces. All right, so the first one, I, I won't say I saved the best for last, but maybe I did. Um, this one I just showed you guys yesterday. It's a Tiger Lily project bag. Of course, they're made from vintage stitching. So this lily was a table linen in its first life, got sewn into a project bag. Um, it measures about 13 by 13. They're always fully lined, gorgeous. I use a nice chunky zipper. So, and they're batting on both sides. So it's a good, good project bag, ready to put in a couple projects if you wanted to. All right, last two. 
Vivsters. Vivsters was a feature designer that we featured two times this month. She has the 12 Days of Christmas pattern, as well as the Scandinavian forest trees in all different colors. But Vivsters, Vivian, has, oh my goodness, generously donated your choice six pattern PDF bundle. Okay, people, get excited. Like that could be your stitching for all of next year. She's got patterns galore in her Etsy shop. That's a good one. Um, and then last but not least, the, the thing that started this entire grand prize was Amanda at Starlight Stitching Co. And of course I should have brought it over. I will put a picture right here of what it is. Starlight Stitching Co. Amanda, um, has donated one of her custom one-of-a-kind cross-stitch clutches. Again, I will put a picture right here of the actual one-of-a-kind that she has donated. It is a gorgeous christmas theme clutch. And so she, that will come directly from Amanda. But, she, but that is also the grand prize. So I just wanted to have that. So that is the grand prize giveaway box for Flossmas 2021. I had so much fun doing Flossmas this year. And the love you guys gave me was just out of this world. I, I just, I, the words can't even express how touched I am from all the sweet love that you guys have and the support and, and all the kind things you've said. And I hope you had fun. I, I know a lot of you tell me that you're having fun and you're enjoying these little morning chit chats. Um, just know I'm enjoying it probably a little more than you. Maybe as much, but I don't know. Loving it is the point of the story. So again, thank you so much. Um, Please, I'm excited. I can't wait to see who wins this box. I hope you're excited. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm thinking about what we're going to do in 2022 to keep the fun going because, you know, why stop? We're having so much fun. But that is today's review. Flossmas episode, day 25, wrapping up the Flossmas, the grand prize giveaway. Remember, I will be back on the 1st. Um, to give away all the PDF winners. If you entered throughout the month, come and watch me then. If you are ready to go with your puzzle, you can enter this one. Um, just comment down below and it's ready to go. And I think that's all I've got. Remember, so I would love for you to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I will be back. I know for sure, 2022, like I said, plans are coming. <laughs> Lots of things going on in my head. I have to just pick a lane and stay in it. But we'll see. For sure, I will be back every Floss Tube Friday just to come in and give y'all a little stitching recap. So come check me out for sure every Friday starting in 2022. But I'm working on some maybe Mondays or Wednesdays, a little extras. We shall see. I'll keep you posted. Um, next week, I've got some extra special videos launching for you guys. My studio room tour. I filmed it. It's coming. Um, I got a couple other ones, just little, little special treats between Christmas and New Year's just for some fun for you guys. And that's all I've got. So happy, happy Flossmas Day 25. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks so much.